Sabine Pass Battleground State Historic Site. So if you're into history, or especially Texas history, then you ought to come pay a visit to the Sabine Pass Historical Site. Let's go do it. Sabine Pass has been a point of interest from a military perspective for quite some time. It actually started uh, during the Civil War with Fort Manhasset, which is 7.5 miles west of this location. And that was a battle in, during the Civil War, and you can read about that, just pause. Then next came the Spanish-American War, which was three miles south of this location. Uh, and some of those, rem uh, some of that stuff is still there, but um, there was a boy that died uh, because of an when an abandoned ammunition cache exploded. That was in 1913. During World War II, which uh, on this site, which is what we're going to see, uh, there were some coastal defenses established. So, kind of interesting. We're going to go take a look at these World War II fortifications. And whatever this is. This talks about the Texas defense, for good or bad, for better or for worse. on the wall uh, and they're numbered but the challenge I'm having is figuring out where number one is Seven men and a couple of cannon captured a fleet. So 
once I find number one on this cell phone tour, just eight, you'll be able to take the cell phone tour at home. All right, so we're looking, uh, I guess that's a replica of the Sabine Pass Lighthouse. Interesting. Two thousand nine. Be better if it was. A nice, clear, sunny day. But I can't be in charge of the weather, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd, I'd make it a nice day every day. This is a replica of the fort, stop number nine. This is what the fort looked like. Interlocking fields of fire. Oh, I see. So what we're seeing here are where the ships were located in relation to the fort. Pretty nice that they put that together for us. I appreciate all that hard work. These are the World War II gun emplacements. Missions bunker. Of course, it's just a concrete box. World War II. This is site number five. Here. 
I don't know where number one is. Let's go see the boat ramp. Sabine Pass. Here at the Sabine Pass historical site, they have a three lane boat ramp with handicap access on one side. Boat ramp closes daily at five. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. Of the Sabine Pass historical site. The War Memorial. There it is. If this is your first visit, please click on the subscribe button. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm very deeply honored. Y'all come back now, you hear?